I keep manifesting the opposite. <laughs> and I'm having a hard time feeling it real, especially getting into the state of kind of sleep. Help me, Mr. 20. Bum, 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 bum. All right, I'll help. Let's do it. Because a lot of people are making this really complicated. I want you to explore and have fun. That's what it's all about, seriously. You'll notice that we dive into experience here. We don't dive into the bumper sticker answer that everybody parrots. When you change your imaginal experience, your physical experience changes. The physical follows the imaginal. And we're into helping you have the experiences that change your imaginal experiences easily and effortlessly. Ready? This takes a couple different forms. One, the meditators. Those who think this is meditation, that it, you gotta really like, okay, I gotta really get into my meditative state, and then I have to experience a movie about what I want, and then I have to give it all the tones of reality, and then I have to, see that's way too fast. <laughs> Actually, it's way too slow. Here's the thing, ready? I want you to write this down. Before you can meditate, you have to imagine meditating. Before you can make a vision board, you have to imagine up a vision board. Before you can do affirmations, you have to imagine affirmations. Affirmations, vision boards, meditation, let's just call them crafts. Anything involving sticky tape is a craft. <laughs> Stop it. If you like crafting, by the way, I like sketching. And I found sketching is a great way for me to just get quiet and be still. But it's not feeling it real. Feeling it real. See, for me to sketch, I have to imagine, you know, what's it like sitting on the veranda on our lovely inside, outside, that's the old lounge suite sofa from the inside of the house. We took it outside to put up on the uh, nature strip to give away. And then we sat down on it. It's been there for two years on the veranda. We are so comfy out there. It's much better than any outdoor furniture. It's lovely fun. And if it gets a little dirty from the puppies, we don't care. That's what's really cool. You see, we imagine something. If you're going to meditate, you have to imagine something that has you meditate. Because meditate takes a while. Feeling it real takes an instant. Neville Goddard says that you can change your state in the twinkle of an eye. And you often do. Ready? Hold on. <clears throat> ah. Cinnamon in the coffee, gang. So, ready? The girls giggled. Manifesting Mastery Course Lesson 1. Lesson 1. There's 90 lessons in that program. And get why lesson one is lesson one. The young guy leaves his pack behind, the safety of the herd. He strikes out on his own to walk across the street, to walk up to the bench where the girls are sitting, and they look at each other and they giggle as they see him coming. Why does he turn around? He turns around and goes back to his friends. Why does he do that? The amateur says he turns around because the girls giggled. Now here's the thing, I know girls. I've helped raise a few. I've dated a couple when I was much younger. They turn into women and sometimes you marry them. And here's something that I notice. Girls giggle. In that circumstance, the girls were giggling because they were happy that a boy finally broke away from the safety of the herd to come over to say hi. And when they giggled out of anticipation, out of excitement, it was obvious to see. You see, he didn't see it because he was in the state akin to sleep while crossing the road, just a little relaxed, letting his mind quiet. And then he let the vine grow wild. And then he turned around, never to touch, sniff, dance with, or kiss a girl in his entire life, dying a 95-year-old virgin yet again. Some people live their entire lives by this, by the way. Because they don't get feeling it real is not making a long movie. Feeling it real is... You see, when, when I get the email, here's what happens. Mr. Toy, this has been in my mind for a while. I've been struggling with getting into the state of kind of sleep. I've been manifesting the opposite. 
So I finally decided to, today to sit down, take a moment, and write you an email asking for help. Now here's the help, ready? Whenever you sat down to take your time to write an email, you entered into the state akin to sleep. You slowed down just a little bit, and yet you remained focused so you could take all that crazy in your head and put it to paper. You got your fingers to move, you got my lips and my fingers to move, because I'll send you an email with this in it. That's a win. People struggle with this because they don't do what we teach. <laughs> People struggle with this because they try to make this long and slow. You can do the little exercises like counting back from zero to 50 to explore the state akin to sleep. I want you to notice that you're entering into it and having wins all day long. This podcast, my email back to you, that's a win. You imagined it up. You slowed down. You sat down. You took your time to... Right. That there. Imagining some clarity around your issue. Had you type what you typed, has me say what I say. I'll repeat it. That's a win. That's the state akin to sleep. You didn't manifest the opposite this time, did you? See, when people tell me I'm manifesting the opposite, that tells me they're either making long movies, they've confused Feel It Real with meditation. I have nothing against meditation, by the way. I have nothing against whiskey or broccoli or buffalo. I'll eat whatever's put in front of me. I'm like Neville. You see, Neville for a while, and I did the same thing for two years. I didn't eat flesh. Didn't feel like it. One day I woke up and it was time to eat flesh again. Neville calls it quibbles, right? If you don't feel like eating it, you don't eat it. But you don't dare think it's going to make you a better manifester or get you closer to God because here's the deal. What you are is God having the adventure of a lifetime. Whatever your desire is, your desires, your basic desires are divine in origin. If you desire to eat meat, eat it. If you desire not to eat meat, don't. You see, this is another email from this morning. Someone answered, somebody asked an email, her question. They've been a vego for a couple of years like I was, and they're right now feeling like they need to eat meat. So I ask the questions, what are you imagining about your health, about your life? And they say, well, you know, nothing really. I mean, I just met a guy, and I'm imagining that we live to a ripe old age together. And so it sounds like maybe your body's telling you it wants some flesh. And if you desire to eat it, eat it. You see, we came here to know imagination. We didn't come here to believe moral systems. Whenever you know imagination, whenever you know who you are and how this works, whenever you explore what you truly are as love, you don't need a law that says don't rape, don't kill, don't steal. Why would you steal anything when you know that you can give life to anything that you want? That's what's fun. Discovering who you are, discovering how this works, discovering how simple it is, discovering what an easy win is, like this recording. How cool is that? You see, now here's where it gets really cool, because before I got out of bed today, I did my Joseph Goddard, because I've got some cool shit going on. We've got Dream Driven Day kicking off in the middle of the month. There's a handful of seats left, by the way. Here's what happens. When there's a handful of seats left, two f handfuls of people decide they want them. Some move quick, some move slow. One of the handfuls ends up empty again. Oops, I missed it, Mr. 20. I thought about joining. <laughs> thought about a lot of things. See, I don't want you thinking about stuff. I want you being all you can be. So if you want to join us in dreamdrivenday.com, go there. Right, early bird pricing still in effect. We're going to rock your world. 30 people, 30 days of play. It takes a little longer than 30 days because we do take the weekends off somewhat. Three group calls. That's five group calls. Members only. We've got a cool little Facebook group so we can communicate intimately and openly and have a blast. But meanwhile, that's Dream Driven Day. If you're just getting started with us, 
ManifestingMasteryCourse.com. That's the 90-day program that everyone's talking about. Almost every single success story in our Facebook group is from ManifestingMasteryCourse.com members. We send out one pretty much in every email as well. I got tired of building web pages for them. I got other things I want to do. Meanwhile, easy, 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 stay to kin to sleep. Easy, easy, easy wins. Stop forcing. Force manifests the opposite. <laughs> and one more. Ready? I've got a cool little article on this. If you want it, email me, and I'll get it to you. How do you email me? Oh, you got to figure that out. We'll have fun with that one. Put some skin in the game. Go to freenevel.com. Alrighty, that's it, gang. If you got gold today, ah, uh, talked about manifestingmasterycourse.com, dreamdrivenday.com, and for the sharers, if you got gold, share this, gang. Because sharing is caring. Somebody shared this, you got to listen to it. What if you shared it and you changed someone's life? Have a lovely day. See ya.